Okay, rolling. Rolling. And we are back. So what's cooking good looking? What's cooking, mama? We are cooking anything this month, the month of August, and we have a charcuterie board for you today. Charcuterie. As seen and displayed. We actually have everything already kind of laid out and we'll kind of decorate it as we go along as we have some juicy appetite talk. Ooh, you ready? my girl, Miss Ellie Well. She's gorge. You Let's see her. Eat. Let's eat. You see her. Okay. Okay, so we have all of our ingredients here. We have some grapes that are so sweet. Dates, strawberries. We have every nut that you can think about. <laughs> all the nuts. All of the nuts. Mm -hmm. We have red peppers, olives, oranges, cucumbers, pears. We have plums, oh. avocado, because it's extra. Like us. Like us. Come on. Okay. We have our veggies, celery, carrots, pickled cauliflower, and jalapeno. Jalapeno and pepperoncini. Our sauces, because you know we be saucing like a boss. So much sauce. We sauce like a boss. We have a fabulous chipotle garlic salsa. I yeah. found this today and it is so bomb. I love chipotle. We have an apricot jelly for our fruits. Fancy. And we got some bitchin' sauce up in the house. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Babe, are you ready to get this board started? Let's get it going. Girl, and we have some juicy conversations for you today. Our topic for the day is going to be, do you prefer mental intimacy versus physical touch? I don't know about you, but, but for me, it is something about a man who knows how to touch my brain. Oh, what do I you like think, that. friend? Who doesn't like that? I mean, hello. So that can be actually a love language. Which one? The mental intimacy. Oh, yeah. You have people that are like sapiosexuals. Do you know what that is? Yeah. Physically attracted to a person that's intelligent. Come on. Are there some intelligent men out here? I think it's an interesting word because who wants to be with someone who isn't intelligent? So many girls, you have no idea. No, I don't know. <laughs> That's the real question. Who is really trying to be out here with like a little idiot, right? <laughs> Not that's, me. That's the bitchin' sauce talking. Okay. <laughs> what about communication? I think that should be a love language too. I think it's like an entire degree. You know what I mean? Yeah, like it's like an entire course of study. I think that communication and emotions are very connected with each other. You can't have one without the other, so. Like you need to be in touch with your emotional side. What's your most natural instinct in your communication style? I would say being very direct. Yeah. And just saying exactly what's on your mind without thinking about how I'm gonna feel. So you're just like shoot and deliver. Shoot and deliver it to me. I'm just one of those straightforward. Straight shooters. Tell me exactly what's up, you know? Mm-hmm. All right, so I have a question. Okay. Tell me an example of a time when a guy told you something that just like stops you in your tracks and you were like, pardon me? Like, excuse me? Yeah. It's so many things that men say. <laughs> Them having too many kids. I think we got too many oranges. It's the only thing I know how to do around here. <laughs> right, so friend. Okay, tell me more. What are some of the things that would actually make you excited to be more intrigued by a guy? Right. Like, <laughs> let me get my list. So this is really about vulnerability, right? Right. And so for me, it's, it's what you were asking, like, can someone mentally stimulate me right. enough where I'm interested in, in moving sticking forward. around? And, yeah, and moving, moving towards that person. And so, yeah, I think it's like, are you making me curious? Yeah. Giving me a reason to give you more of my time. His approach. Yeah. You know, his approach is gonna be the first thing that makes me feel like he's confident enough to even handle somebody of my caliber. Ooh, baby, tell him it's spicy. Tell him about the Hello. sauce. I think you're right, it's in the approach. It's in the approach. Say they send somebody over to get your information versus them stepping up to you. Are you telling them not to no-go? That's a no-no for Boys, me. Boys, that's a no-no for Portia. Use your feet. Use your, use your feet. Mm -hmm. Is our board looking pretty? It's so pretty, I think it's time to snack. Another question. Yes. How intimate is too intimate when you first met? Right, I feel like maybe too close, too soon, Yeah, is intimidating for me. Like, I don't want you to be all in my situation. It's a lot. Yes. I think that's too intimate, like too close. Mm -hmm. um, Respect the bubble, fellas. Maybe certain conversations could be too intimate, too. Mm -hmm. Like, if they are already ready to versus actually talking and getting to know me. Mm-hmm. Pace it out. How do you feel about approaching a guy if you like them? 
It's 2021, ladies and gentlemen. It's time. It's time. <laughs> what would your pickup line be? Ooh. Oh my God, have you heard this one? Your mama must have been a 90 degree angle. <laughs> Cause you looking right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so stupid. Girl, you must be tired. Cause you've been running in my dreams all Ooh, night. That's a good one. I mean, I, it's so bad it's good, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's bad. Okay. <laughs> all right, so now we got our vegetables. Almost done with our charcuterie board. Get them sauces in here. And so lay out the veggies. I will sample everything. Yes. Put some celery on there. Place. She can get some celery up here. You. Okay, we got some carrots. So guys, while you're in Ragas, this would be so cute for a little picnic. Or date night. Or date night. Whatever you need. We got some jalapenos. Holla. Slap them over there with the sweet and spicy. Dang, this board is looking right. It's looking riggedy, riggedy, riggedy right. Mm-hmm. Got some cauliflower. Put some carrots up here. Are you so ready to eat on? all of this with me? I'm ready. Let's go in, baby. It's the moment. Talking juicy was so much fun with you today, sis. I mean, we gotta keep it juicy around here. I keep it juicy, juicy. I keep that up. Nah, nah. Can you see from the back, 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 back? Let's go. Let's see. Let's see. Yes. I'm gonna start with the sweet girlfriend, guys. I love this sauce. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe and our juicy talk. Make sure to follow Portia's Apron on Instagram and also my blog that I have for all of the recipes that will be listed on there. Take them with you on date night. On date night. You know you need it. And make sure to follow my girl, Ellie Well. Cause she will keep you well. Thanks for the snack, babe. Just feed us. All us pretty. <laughs> that was good? I think so. <laughs>